Hello everyone, I am Pravesh Mohe from My Medical Studies and we are going to cover the topic USMLE and the points I am going to cover today are how USMLE is not an exam but a process which you have to take how they don't just test your clinical and medical skills but even test how much patience and how much uh, capability of handling the stress you have so let's start the video for USMLE USMLE has three steps so you have to clear all these three steps to get your ABC which is called American Board Certification so American Board Certification is even known as a global license to practice we will cover this in one of our videos once we have done this so step one is uh, it is considered amongst the toughest of all three steps uh, it's a very lengthy process um, so total examination is of, of about eight hours and uh, it covers about 280 questions and uh, you don't have to worry you don't have to sit for continuously eight hours they give you about an hour, one hour of a break time so you can take this one hour as a break straight away in one go or you can you know take five minutes or ten minutes break after every one hour so let me even tell you that this 280 questions are divided in seven slots one hour each so after every one hour you can take a five or ten minute break or you can continuously go in for two hours three hours if you prepared for it that well physically and mentally that you can straight away sit for a three hour exam without a break um, you can pretty much do that as well so what actually is recommended is that after every one hour you take five or ten minutes of break and that's how you cover your eight hours so this is going to be an online assessment which you can do from your uh, home country as well so say you're studying uh, MBBS in India in one of the government colleges and you want to get in your USMLE so you start practicing and you start giving your exams from around third year of your MBBS so if you sit for this in the third year so you can give this exam from India or if you're studying in some different country say you're doing your MBBS from UK or maybe any other country in Asia or in Europe so you can do this exam online from that particular place so this needs a lot of dedication like I said it would not just test your ability in medicine but even your ability how good you are when it comes to taking pressure and handling a lot of stress once you've completed your step one you graduate to step two step two is an examination which would test your clinical skills so how good you are at handling your patients and how good you are in understanding what is the problem they are facing with their communication so it is a clinical skill examination step two would be a nine hour examination again and don't be stressed you don't have to sit continuously for nine hours you get a break time again in step two they even give you a small video in the beginning of the examination where you are told what to do and you know how you have to appear in that students they face a problem which is the language problem when they are communicating with the patients when it comes to the step two clinical skills so we suggest that you polish and you know you revise with your uh, clinical skills even revise your language because we have to understand one thing that we have to give this examination in English not just to practice our clinical skills but a little bit polish English would also help us because that gives a edge when it comes to understanding what the other person is saying once you've cleared your step one graduated to step two and when you've cleared your step two as well so it is time for step three so step three is a very lengthy examination so it's a total 16 hour examination divided in two days so it's a six hour examination and then a nine hour examination what happens in this is there are about 580 multiple choice questions so the students who have already appeared for uh, USMLE they have given us a feedback that step three as compared to step one and two is not that difficult in USMLE they will not just be you know uh, testing the width of your knowledge they are going to test the depth of your knowledge so like in uh, the PG examination in India you have to have full knowledge of most of the subjects you studied in MBBS but in USMLE 
you have to have in-depth knowledge of the line you want to choose so say you want to get into surgery or maybe psychiatry so you have to have the basic not the basic but in-depth knowledge of these subjects when you sit for these examinations so 580 questions divided in two days six hours and nine hours again you will be given time for break so once you've sat for your first examination which is for six hours so you get time of about a week a week and a half to reschedule your second day so you have uh, you know you get the liberty to reschedule your second day within next 14 working days they say so you can say about two weeks within those two weeks you have to reschedule your examination once you have done this 580 examinations and you've cleared all these three uh, step one step two and step three then your matching starts so matching is according to your score they match you to the institution and the course which you will be eligible to do so that is again uh, let me bring one more thing to your notice that clearing all these three exams after that you sit for a basic english examination you've cleared that as well when it comes to the matching we have seen that students who have excelled and got more than say 90 percent marks have not got top of the universities but whereas a student who was mediocre and got between 17 70 percent or 80 percent and you know has done his mbbs from a, a good institute has a forte or an edge over the student who's got 90 percent because maybe the student has done a lot of research no, he's done some research with some reputed doctor. He has his recommendations in place. USMLE will not just see your score, but they will even see how you have helped the community and how you have helped the others. So I request all the aspirants of USMLE, not just to be absolutely focused on your studies, but go out and do some social work and have your paperwork ready for that as well. Because my friends, you will be surprised to know how much the social work is going to help you when it comes to the matching. Once the matching process is done and your USMLE results are out, so the congratulations are in place, you are eligible to practice in the United States of America and you will be eligible to do your, as we call it, PG in India, in the United States of America. Next video, I would like, I promise, I would cover how American Board ABC certificate is a global license. I hope this uh, video was informative for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have liked the information, please do hit the subscribe button and give us the comments. Thank you.